Hi guys, thanks for checking back in. Today's video is how to build shop benches. Uh, we needed a couple of workbenches for my pottery studio. This is the exciting part. I've been waiting for this for a while now. This is when we build. So let me show you kind of what we've done so far and then I will show you the video of how, do we, how we got here. These are our shop benches. Not completely done um, quite yet. We're going to be putting a piece of plywood on the bottom so that's covered and that will be an extra shelf. Um, and we're going to put some poly over the top of it to protect the whole base, but this is what we're going to be doing today. And let me show you. The first step is picking out materials, and here we are looking at plywood for the tabletop. They have a pretty good selection, but I'm looking for something specific. I want it to have a nice smooth finish, but the prices are kind of expensive. Sorry the camera gets a little crazy, but I'm just checking out to see if I can get that nice smooth top for a little bit better of a price. And I think we're going to go with this one here. What do you think? Think you're gonna build some shelves? Okay. Um, as you can see in the back of the truck, look, um, we got 16 two by fours and um, a piece of plywood that we had ripped in half for the tabletop. Um, bunch of screws and and so on. So I'm hoping to get two workbenches out of this. We built everything around the plywood top to get an idea of how it was going to go together in the end. Okay guys, so we were really on a roll here. We had the top support done and the bottom support. We were all ready to put the legs on and that's when we went to move the structure and it all fell apart. <laughs> Come to find out we had um, short screws, like way too short. I don't know what happened, how we even missed it. We were just so focused on putting this together. We're not carpenters. We've never done this before, so we really didn't know what to expect. So our focus was on how to build the structure that we just totally missed the fact that these screws that we just bought from Home Depot were too small. So um, I'll kind of show you why they were too small. I'll show you a couple of pictures next. We must have grabbed a wrong box because it's about a half inch too short. You can see it barely penetrates the 2x4 so it wasn't going into the second piece at all. So when we bought the lumber we got all of the same boards out of the same spot um, but when we brought it home and we were lining it up against the wall we noticed that some of the lumber was shorter than the others. Um, these ones, the majority of them were shortcuts, but we have a few that were a little bit longer. I have no idea what happened and how, how that worked out. Maybe we grabbed a few that we weren't supposed to, uh, but they were all in the same spot. So I'll show you. So they're butted up together. And 
they're not the same size. It's like three, maybe four inches difference. We're going to just use that to our advantage. I have um, four really long pieces compared to the others, which works great because it's the same size as the um, tabletop that we had cut at Home Depot. So we're going to just make one table that's going to be just really easy and put it together pretty quick because all the pieces are the same size where the second bench is going to be a little bit shorter just because not all of the lumber is the same size. Um, so we're just going to kind of work with that. Finally, we've gotten one table done and we're working on the second. It's going pretty fast now. Okay, remember how I said not all the lumber was the same size? So we had to make the second bench a little different. This is the first one. The 2 by 4 comes all the way to the edge. And you can see on the side the butt end is right there. Tabletop comes to the top. Nice clean corner. Perfect. So... The second bench is a little bit different. This 2x4 was shorter. The butt end is showing. Unfortunately, they're not going to be the same. Because these are shorter than the other table. And because they're shorter, I would have to cut the tabletop by four inches to about here. And I really don't want to cut my tabletop any shorter. I'm losing out on valuable workspace. So it is going to be a little bit different. And this piece is going to be shorter and it's going to show but I don't think it's going to change the integrity of the table. I think it's just aesthetics. Now we had to cut these pieces for the support a little bit shorter than the outside pieces because of the way this table was set up and how we had to design it. It's different than our first table, but we're just working with it. These are the other two supports for the skirt, and we have the legs all cut and ready to go. That's the other support. All of our lumber is cut. We're just waiting to put it all together just a little bit longer, and we will have two full tables that will look just like this one. So, almost there. Ta-da! I can't believe that we did this. Mostly John, but hey, I helped too. Okay guys, we are almost finished with our benches for my pottery studio. We did the tables, tabletops, got them in the position that they need to be. Next, we're going to be laying the plywood for um, the shelving underneath. Just got the shelves today, and I'm going to be polying the tops of them. I'm going to be using a lot of water on top of the bench, and I'm going to have some of it covered in canvas but some of it's going to be exposed wood and I want to kind of protect that. So we're going to be using a poly. Let me show you. So this is what we decided to use for poly. Um, I got a gloss finish and they come in different finishes. Um, I'm just trying to read the directions here. See how long it takes to dry and 
between coats. Looks like it's four to six hours per application. If you've never used poly before, make sure that you stir it carefully. Never shake it. And I used a bristle nylon brush. It would also be okay to use a foam brush. Whatever you choose to use. I would recommend something a little bit bigger than what I'm using in the video. It ended up taking a lot longer than necessary because it was very small. But it's really just all I had on hand. Ooh boy, look at the shine. These tables came out pretty good. I'm happy with the poly. I ended up doing two coats and I did use steel wool in between each coat. Looking good. And they're almost there. Okay, so what we're doing now is taking measurements of the legs length and width to see how big they are. Once I got the exact measurements of my leg, I copied it onto my plywood and I did this on all four corners so I could cut the pieces out with my jigsaw. Once the four corners were cut in the plywood, we slipped it in, and look at that. Here you can see John is working hard to secure the shelf. Um, I don't know if he did it right, but it's standing, and it's, it's holding up so far, um, so we're just going to keep it like this for now. If you guys have any comments or tips, make sure that you post that below. Um, love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching guys. Realize that the screws were